All right, I want to try to help you guys see how to enter problems like this on your calculator. So I want to go ahead and examine this problem. It is um, the region R is being bounded by the functions f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 6 and g of x equals negative 7, as in the diagram below, so we can see that here. I want to find the area and round to the nearest thousandth. It's important that you can use your calculator correctly or else you're going to get rounding errors on this. So the first thing I want to do is to enter this into your calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you're going to enter this into y equals on our calculator. I already took the liberty of doing that a little bit ago. So I have my upper function, which was the upside down parabola as y1. And then the horizontal line, y equals negative 7, is my lower function, y2. So once those are entered, we need to find the intersection points of those two functions. So I'm going to check my window. I know I've got an upside down parabola that's going to have a vertex at y equals 6. And I'm at negative 7. So I think a standard window is fine. So we just check that. We go to zoom, standard, which is 6, and hit enter. And we're in that standard window, and that looks good. So now to find those intersection points, I need to do second trace, which gives us the calculator function. And I want to do number five, intersect. And now, see the points right up here at the very top? I'm just going to arrow over a little bit to the left because I want to get that left intersection first. So it says first curve. You can tell I'm on the parabola. That's fine. Then it goes to the line, that, that's my second curve, and then I hit enter again to get that coordinate, and there it is. So that's my intersection point. So what I want to do next, I want to go to the home screen, so I do second quit to go to the home screen. I just type x, so I want to call up the x-coordinate of that point, and I hit enter. So that was the x-coordinate. Now I want to store that. I'm going to call it a because I'm going to go from a to b. You can call it whatever you want to. Store alpha a, enter. Now that's stored and I can call it up as a. Let's go back to find that other point. Second, calculate gives me the trace, intersect, and now I want to arrow over to that other point. Just get on the other side of this. I don't have to get all that close. That's my first curve. That's my second curve. Here's the point where they intersect. There it is. You can see it right there. It is symmetric, so it makes sense that one's positive and one's negative. But we don't want to round this. We want to store it. So once again, I go back to my home screen. I hit X to call up the X coordinate. Hit Enter. There it is. Notice it's the positive of the one I just had because, like I said, this is symmetric. Not all the time will that be the case. It just happened to be that in this problem. So now I'm going to store that, and I'm going to call that one B. Enter. So now it's stored. Now I just have to write the integral of my upper function minus my lower function. And if you remember right, just to check, my upper function was the upside down parabola. My lower function was the horizontal line. So I'm going to go back to the main menu and I'm going to do math nine to get my integral. I want to go from A, alpha A, to B, because that's how I set mine up. And then I'm going to do Y1 so far, I mean, you could type it in, but we already have it in there. My upper function was y1. My lower function was y2. So I get my y2. It wouldn't have been that hard to type, but like I said, it was already there, so why bother? And hit enter, and then I get the answer. And for AP, you could write that as 44.191 or 44.192, both would be correct because AP allows truncating, which just means chopping it off after that third decimal place, or rounding. For delta math, however, they wanted it rounded, so the correct answer would have been 44.192, and that would have been the only correct answer. It's really important to store or else you will not get your answer correct to three decimal places, which it must be.